Sometimes it's easy to get discouraged on a site like Etsy. If I type in autumn, for example, I get a whole bunch of items back. And if I click search, I wind up with over 1 million results. Now that includes ads, but it's really tough to try to drill down and find out what are people actually looking for. So don't despair. In this video, I've got a tool that we can use to drill down on niches. And I've got three niches that actually do have sales and they can be a great fit for your business. Let's jump in. Okay, the site that I'm using here is called Everbee. I'm gonna put a link to this in the video description below if you're interested, just a heads up. It is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on the link and you purchase Everbee, I would receive a small commission. Let's jump in with the first one here. An autumn phrase that you might be familiar with is pumpkin. Now when I type in pumpkin, you're gonna see the search volume on Etsy is 3166, that's monthly. There's a ton of competition and the keyword score is zero. So it's like, well, that's not great. However, there's related keywords down below. And what I like about this is you can see very quickly, for example, pumpkin sweatshirt has a keyword score of 20. It has way less competition and actually has more volume. So this is a great example of when I talk about niching down. Most people are not just going to search for one word like pumpkin. They're going to search for something specific like pumpkin sweatshirt or pumpkin shirt or shirt pumpkin, something like that, Halloween pumpkin, things like that. Now I'm not saying those keywords are all going to be better. They're still gonna have a lot of competition, but your keyword score can go up depending on the different niches. So it's a really easy way that you can see here Keyword score descending, and we're gonna see massive keyword scores to start. Now the reason for this is because there's misspelled words and there's some competition that has those keywords in there. And so it's just a mathematical formula. So I don't like necessarily looking at really high keyword scores. I wanna find something that's a little bit more organically driven in the sense that we've got some actual search volume and then some competition. So here's a great one, Halloween cuteness pumpkins. 1,668 volume, 446 competition. That's a really high keyword score because there's actually more searches than there are listings. So I'm not saying it's gonna guarantee you a sale, but you could find some options. Here's another one, scary pumpkin coloring. There's 460 in volume, 407 in competition. That gets us another very high keyword score. So somebody might be looking for a scary pumpkin coloring page or some sort of digital download for a coloring book. The second niche we're gonna take a look at is Thanksgiving. And as we can see, there's 2,800 in search volume and there's a ton of competition. Again, a keyword score is zero. So I wouldn't recommend you just have the word Thanksgiving in your keywords when you're listing on Etsy, but you know, it can help. Let's go down here to the related keywords though and see if there's something different. Now, what I wanna show you is a different way to look at this. I'm gonna look at the volume instead. And so the volume now will be descending instead of the keyword score. And as I'm looking through the volume, this is now descending in search volume and I'm looking for keyword scores that are relatively high, might have some competition. Now again, I'm not looking for misspelled words. Here's one, Thanksgiving pumpkin, 1688, competition 189880. The keyword score is 10, it's better than zero. So I only throw that out there to say that even a keyword score of 10 or 20, it may be something that you would at least wanna look at. It's not a zero. Here's another one, Thanksgiving shirt, 1,490, 140,000. So what you can do is you can take the related keyword, like Thanksgiving shirt, for example. I'm gonna type that in at the top. We can see now the keyword score is 10. And now we can see, is there anything related to keywords that we've got up here, Thanksgiving shirt, that is even better? I'm gonna start descending by keyword here. Now when you get back a lot of results like this, you can use the filters as well over on the right hand side. I'm gonna click filters and we're gonna say keyword include Thanksgiving. The keyword score, we can have it max out. So we could say, you know what, I wanna have a keyword score of say 300 for example, and that'll give us back results that may be a little bit better. Here's a, here's a pretty good example, Thanksgiving blessings shirt. So it's very specific, there's 270 plus searches, a thousand results, and 260 is your keyword score. That's pretty good. I would definitely take a look at that. And here's one that's really specific. Thanksgiving pregnancy shirt dad. Interesting. I'm actually going to click on that. I'm going to copy my keyword. And on Etsy, I'm actually going to take a look here. So this is a really interesting genre. Pie for two, please, right? So the mummy would have this on here. She's an expecting mom. And then here's one that I just love. I put a turkey in that oven. 
there's a little turkey in this oven. So it's Thanksgiving themed, but what a great way to totally hog all the attention at the Thanksgiving party because you've now got a baby on the way. So you can see your 20 plus views in the last 24 hours. This is very niche. So this is a great example of something that is Thanksgiving related, but it's extremely specific to certain people. Could be the mummy here, expectant mom, or it could be the couple. So you might say, well, hold on. This is a sweatshirt, right? This is $20. I'm on a Canadian Etsy site here. You know, this is a sweater and I'm, I want to sell digital designs. Well, there's nothing stopping you from making a similar design and just selling it as an SVG file. I'm not saying copy it. I'm never saying copy it. But you could have a different graphic. You could have different fonts. You could have maybe there's, you know, a different type of arrow. You can use your imagination and you can come up with digital equivalents to really well selling physical products. Now, as we all know, in autumn, there's Halloween. I typed in ghost for our third niche we're going to take a look at. The search volume is a little over 4,000. The competition is close to a million. Again, that gives us a really crappy keyword score of zero, but that's okay. We're going to use the related keywords down below and let's see if we can find something that's really cool. Now, what I'm going to do here, instead of scrolling through these results, I'm going to click on this export button here on the right hand side. And when I click export, you can see here now, it says on the top right, sent to email. I'm simply going to check my email because I've got a spreadsheet now emailed right to me. So this is personal preference, but if you're familiar with spreadsheets, this can be a really easy way for you to look through a lot of different information. So I'm going to go here to the top. I'm going to click view, freeze panes. That's going to keep my top titles looking good. I really like it when it looks like that. So now I'm going to scroll on through. And what I can do is I can sort now at the top. I can go data sort and I can sort by keyword score largest to smallest and now I can scroll on down and I can look for something where the keyword score is reasonable here so here's ghostly Halloween apparel that gives me a good keyword score I talk a lot about double niching what about coffee and ghosts so here is coffee go ghost crew neck that's a type of a shirt and we've got a pretty good keyword score there if you're selling a digital download, you can have a ghost oil painting. And there's a type of art called kawaii, and that's a very popular style as well. So you can see I'm just going through and I'm just finding decent keyword scores where there's some sort of volume and a competition. I'm not saying these are all home runs, but I'm saying I can at least start looking on Etsy to make sure that these niches are something where it's worth it for me to create some designs and throw them into that niche. You know, time is valuable and I use Everbee a lot to find niches that I can compete in. If you like what you see, check out the link in the video description below. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your digital design journey.